Like walking into the hospital and seeing your, your best mate lying there, looking lifeless, looking like he shouldn't be alive, is a moment that I'll never forget. I can remember that, I can picture that visually. I think knives is just an easy way to scare people. Like, you know you're going to do damage with a knife. It's easy to get a knife. You can buy them online, you can go to a market, you can get them from your kitchen. Like. It's actually unreal the amount of kids in London that either have been stabbed or know someone that's been stabbed, you know, just growing up. Our community pushes the message and promotes the message of picking a bike over a knife. Bringing so many kids together and getting kids to meet up from different areas and make friendships with people that, for all we know, they could have been playing out and stabbing each other one day. Within London, that rivalry, that jealousy and that hate between people is just natural. Breaking that down to show people that it's irrelevant, that we can all come together. It's given them a group of people to hang out with over another group of people who may be peer pressuring them. We're not forcing these kids to be anywhere. We're not forcing these kids to pick a bike over a knife. We're just showing them and giving them examples and opportunities. If you've actually got people who are from similar situations or people who are around you with the same mindset or have experienced similar things, then you're going to naturally trust and believe them and want to work with them more. If you're giving kids the opportunity to do what they want as long as it's positive, then you're keeping them away from what they could be getting drawn into. At the end of the day, it's got to come from the community itself, like the change, you know? I'm not going to force people to do this and that. This is a path that you could pick, which is actually going to get you somewhere. Whereas if you pick this path, you're going to end up like this guy in jail, or this guy who's six feet underground.